Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and I did a tutorial on this look and it is the same basic look that I had on Friday and yesterday just with today, just because I figured most of you had this, I used that little Naked Basics palette and plus I used shimmer so much on my eyes I thought today I would do a matte look and um, I used two of the Hourglass powders and my new blush and my new lipstick. So, so if you would like to watch me play with my new stuff, I'll be okay. right back. So the first thing I did this morning when I before I took the kids to school was put this on. Okay, the All is About the Eye Clinique. Serum Depuffing Eye Massage. And I put that on every morning and I don't and put an eye like cream every on. every day, first thing I do is put on my Giorgio Armani and pat that in um, just right on that darkness. I don't go, go all up under the eye. I just right in that darkness like this. Okay, so then the first thing I do, or the next thing I do, is my Rachel K, and I like to use, I can use all three colors, but my favorite just seems to be the classic, which is fair, and um, it's light, but this with the classic makes it perfect, so. The classic beige, Laura Mercier, that is. So I just rub that all over underneath my eyes, like that. Just kind of work it in. Okay, and you'll feel when you're finished rubbing that in, it'll be kind of almost a dry feeling. Dry, not used to Laura Mercier anything. Classic Beige get some in your brush or in your lid and Sedona Lace sent me um, they saw my video where I had bought the other brushes and so they were nice enough to send me some more brushes to try and they sent me two sets and let's see what the name of them are let's see the seven midnight lace synthetic brush set the angle top and the midnight lace synthetic brush set this is the, I believe, the seven piece, neat brushes. I mean, just, I'm gonna use some of them today. That's why I brought them out here. And I told him I would like to find another brush that I could use with my Laura Mercier because so many of you are having a hard time finding, or you're not having a hard time finding the Sephora brush, but it's not the same. The one I use is discontinued. So, well, I'm gonna try today to use this 928 little flat buffer brush here and let's see how it goes it's the first time of course and since it's not seasoned it might not work as well but let's just try it if it doesn't I'll just go back to my other one but um so I'm gonna get it in my brush and start here Woo. okay so this is going to go on a lot heavier than my other brush which is fine I'll just buff it out Okay, this one, you get better coverage with this brush. Okay. Okay, so I won't put as much in my brush this time to go on this side. I'm going to start right here. Yeah, way more coverage. Gosh, that's quick. So that cut down the um, the time going around my face. That looks really pretty. I, don't know, I hope you can see it. Okay, and what I'm gonna do today for this look, because I want my eyelids to look basically, I kinda want them to look like they don't have any shadow on, but I know that I do need the shadow and I do need the coverage, so I'm going to put a little bit of this Laura Mercier just on my eyelids today for my base because I'm, I like that look and I'm going for um, the look of not having shadow on. Okay, this worked really well and this is the 928 and this is the Sedona Lace, let's see what this set is. 
Midnight Lace set, and it comes with, um, a, you know, an angled brush like that. Let's see, a little smaller one, the flat top, and then a um, little kabuki. So that is neat. I really like these brushes. And um, okay, so I've got my um, Laura Mercier on. And today I'm going to use, see I didn't even use all in my lid because that brush just seems to give more coverage. I guess it buffs it in your skin better. Okay, um, for bronzer, I'm just going to use a very little bit of the Dior powder in Nude. It's the Dior Nude powder in Mocha. MAC 138. And just dip it in there just a little bit like that. And just do a little bit <clears throat> in the backs of my cheekbones. A little bit around my hairline and then under my neck and my jawline. Okay, so backs of cheekbones around my hairline and then under my neck. Try to tighten up that jawline right there. I've got brought two powders, hourglass powders, out here today, and these seem to be my favorite so far. It's the diffused light and the luminous light. Okay, the diffused light is the more yellowy tone, and um, these are not oil control powders. They don't have talc and all the other things in there, so I learned the other day that they're not going to do that, even if what happened to me is I knew that, but when I put it on, I didn't have any shine, so I just didn't even think of using my Dermablend. Well, make sure you remember it's not going to control the oil. So go ahead, even if you're not shining, go ahead and put your Derma Blend or whatever oil control powder, blot powder you use. Okay, and my brush should be coming today, but um, I am going to use, I've been using just any powder brush really, but today I'm going to use this Sedona Lace 376 brush and see. Um, no, let me use something a little, um, a little smaller. Let me use this one, which is this little angled brush, because what I used this yellowy base one for has been um, right here under my eyes, because it's supposed to be brightening. Okay. And it's supposed to be really good for setting your concealer. And then the other one I don't use until the end, when I'm completely finished with my makeup, so. Did that okay and now I'm gonna put on my blush and I have been just I, I haven't worn anything else since I got this and it is the Dior rosy glow blush and um, let's see of course it's um cloudy out today okay what brush do I want to use I'll just use this same little angled brush because um I just want to put this right here on the apples of my cheeks and then work it up it is the prettiest little light pink color. It's gorgeous. So right here, and then kind of work it up and pat it right into your skin. I love it. And you notice I'm, I'm not doing like this because if I did, I would probably put it right here and then it would fall down. So you want to keep it up high, almost right underneath your eye and back. And I like to just pat mine in. Okay, so that gives you that, see how it just gives you that glow. This is the best blush. I love it. It's working right up there. I'm not going to put on a highlight because at the end I'm going to use that diffused, not the diffused, but the illuminating one. Gosh, I'm sorry. I get all the names mixed up. Not the diffused, but the luminous. Okay, I just went back and put some stuff up and I did the Fix Plus. And so now I'm going to, before I forget, I've got my eyelashes on top of my powder here. <laughs> Before I forget, I'm going to get some of my Derma Blend loose powder, and I am going to. Oh goodness, I didn't bring all my brushes out here. Let's use one of these. Okay, let's use this one. It is. Um, let's see if I can see the number here. Goodness gracious, I believe it is the 327. It's in that little seven-piece set, and I'm going to get some in this brush. Looks nice and fluffy and go right here and right here oh that works good okay yeah 
I like that. Okay. Okie doke. Let's see. I always try to use my new stuff so you can guys can see it. Sometimes it doesn't work out well. Sometimes it does. Okay. So the look I'm going for today is just going to be... I want to have the illusion that I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, that I have just put on some eyeliner and lashes and gone. Well, with my eyes being aging eyes and being a little bit, I don't know, my eyes are kind of saggy right there anyway. That's just the way they're shaped. I know I've got to put something on. So I thought I would use this palette because I knew most of you had it, but you can do this with any color, skin color or crease color that you want. Um, the other day I did it with the Baroque from Laura Mercier, and I really like that. The only thing is it does have shimmer, so I didn't know how you would feel about that, so I thought I would just use this today, and um, you know, you can just substitute any color. So I'm going to use this brush, which is, um, good night, do you see how small those little numbers are on there? This is the 863, and I'm going to go into the Naked 2 color get some on my brush and I'm just going to put that in my crease and I'm not going to just I'm not going to try to bring it down like that I'm just going to put it in my crease and kind of bring it all the way up I'm not going to really leave room for a highlight so put it in the crease and then bring it all the way up like that and then don't bring it all the way down on the lid just bring it down to your moving lid like that all the way down to the far down on the crease but not on the very very end of the lid okay and see what you can see is that it's already caused a little bit you could it already looks like it's highlighted even though we didn't highlight there okay and then the next thing and this is the mistake I made Friday because <clears throat> I never get to see my makeup as good until I watch the video because then I see my eyes closed differently when I'm talking. And I noticed that it just looked like it was just stuck there. It wasn't, um, it wasn't a good transition. So what I did yesterday is I took a brush and let's use, um, let's see, let's use this little pencil type brush here from Sedona Lace. I just brought these out here because it's 904. Easy. Okay, put it in this black and it's called, um, what is this called, Crave? And what you're gonna do is pretend that this is your liner with the shadow. And so, and I'm gonna wing it out a little bit and then bring it across and kind of fill in that whole bottom moving lid, winging it out just a little bit. Well, not just a little bit, a lot, but just kind of like it's your liner. Oh, goodness. Bubba, you can't get up here right now. <laughs> He's forceful. Okay, so get a little bit more. And then um, just make sure you get down in your lash line really good. And you can use any black that you want. Um, you can use, you know, a shimmery one or like that Dior one I got the other day it was really pretty because um, it's not so black. But this one I just thought would be good because it's here and it's matte and you might like it better. Okay, so I'm going to basically do like I would do with a liner because you're wanting this to not be pinup looking. And this is what keeps it from being not pinup. If you were to just do gel or liquid liner, it would look, you know, like you're doing a pinup look. So this keeps it kind of smoky. And um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a way to describe it. And to me, it's just like an old Hollywood look. Okay. So it should be real easy to put your, um, that I wing, I always do that. I always wing one side out different than the other. Okay, so I'm going to try to correct this if I can. Okay, that's a little bit better. I need to look in the camera more. Okay, so I need to do this up more right here and down. Okay, and don't worry about that end being sharp. So now it looks like I've messed up this side. That's okay. Okay, up. 
Okay. And just make sure you've gotten your hole. See, my lid actually has like a little crease there, so I just use that as a guideline. Okay, and then take the brush and that naked color again and go back over and kind of blend that edge out right here. All those edges like that. And the reason I didn't just bring this color all the way down is because I was scared that black wouldn't stick. Right, okay. Okay, so that's basically it. And in this look, I don't put anything on the bottom unless you want to put something kind of brightening on the bottom. So let's do that. Let's put this um, yellowy color. I believe it's called Foxy. It's a matte yellowy type color. I'm going to put it on the bottom just to open up under here a little bit like that. Just to make it look real clean under there. Okay, and no highlight, just that. Okay, and then the liner I'm going to use today is, didn't I bring out? Oh yeah, Clinique. I thought I'd use this Clinique liner, True Black. It's a good one. It's easy to and use. And a lace too. brush that I have, let's see, it is number 772. And um, so I'll get it in that black and then just make a thick line. And it's easy because you've already got that black shadow. And then kind of just wing it up right where your shadow is, like that. And then do this. Just walk it in. You can even just... like that and that is a one black <laughs> one black liner I forgot that it was that black but that's okay if you don't like it that black then just use like a sepia or blitz and glitz or something like that but I like it it just adds to that kind of Hollywood look and you can even take um, let's see I've wiped off my brush let's just um even maybe smudge it out a little bit Like that. This black's real shiny too. It's real pretty. Okay. I love that. Okay, now let's put our lashes on. And I am going to use... So that's all the shadow and all the liner. We'll put my lashes on. And lash glue that I use is the Duo Dark. And the lashes are... My favorites, the Ardell 120 self-adhesive, and I've only used these one time. I just wore them yesterday for the first time. So, um, it's got a little fuzzy here by the cat hair. Um, so they don't have a lot of mascara or anything on them. They're kind of still fresh. And um, so I'll put this right on my lash line. Okay, these are not, I can already tell that they're not bent enough. I like to take them and kind of bend them. That way they go right. As soon as they hit my eye, they usually just hug right to it. Just like that. So you can see how that just went right there. And I did trim just one. Matter of fact, I think I've put those in a little too far. Let's take those off one little section off of the inside because I don't want them to go too far in so that when my eyes open I feel them right there there that's better just pat them like that and you'll you'll feel them kind of adhere to your eye okay and I've got the other one ready and I'll go ahead and bend it good and put it on And that is so much easier than mascara. And I love the way they look. Okay, I hope I didn't put that one too far in too. Did I? No, that's good enough. 
Okay, now when you get your lashes in, you can tell that I probably need a little, it's this a little more shadow in that inside right there. And of course, I just took my palette back and put it up. That's what I get for trying to be too Okay, so let's right go back. back into that Naked 2 color. There's some stuff you just can't tell until you get your lashes on and get going. So I'm going to go right in here and shade that a little bit more in here like that. And if you wanted to go into a darker color, you could, but I really want to keep this more of a skin tone look. Yeah, see that looks much better. Okay, now the key is the eyebrows. And that this look is what kind of inspired me or made me really want a crisp, defined brow, but not I don't want them where it looks like I've got, you know, crazy eyebrows or angry eyebrows. Um, <laughs> I don't want to have my angry eyebrows on as Miss, Mrs. Potato Head would say. Um, so, but I noticed in a lot of my other videos that my eyebrows were looking almost blurry, like you couldn't see the edges. And I think it's because I was using so much of just a light product. And so that's when I thought, well, I'm gonna use just a little bit of a darker. And this is the so MAC good. Lingering. And I really like how tiny and sharp this is. And so I'm just gonna go right up under here with light strokes and can I just fill that in a little bit? And this is my brow that is much lower than that one, naturally. So I go up a little bit, you know, I add a little bit to the top. This is my favorite part. Before, I was having to really, really bear down to get some color on that end, but now I can just take light strokes and kind of extend, add on to that and extend that eyebrow, and I love it. It just adds the biggest difference. I mean, is that not amazing? Okay, so this side, I'm going to just try to keep it, you know, the same level that it is. Um, and, you know, everybody's, I think, got one eyebrow that's a little bit higher than the other, so it's no big deal. So I'm not going to fill in too much of the top of that one. And then I'm going to go and just fill in that side and extend it a little bit over here, like that. But you can see that just fills them in, but they're not crazy dark. I think they're even better because I'm not, they're not, they're a little bit more, how can I say this? They're not as solid. You can still see the individual okay, so hairs. now I don't want them too harsh, especially this one that I went over a little bit. So I'm gonna just lightly kind of brush that out. You don't wanna see any lines like that. And then this one, brush that out. Like that and I've been using my brow gel I want to this is the blonde and I, I think I threw away my clear one must have been getting old and funky looking <laughs> so I'm gonna get another clear because I don't want to I love the color of that but I'm gonna just just because I feel like I need it to hold them in place I'm gonna put some of this on there today and this is the blonde like that okay now um you can, if you want, go back over the line of your lashes. I don't feel like I need to. Um, I just feel like that's dark enough. And I don't feel like I need to tight line up underneath. You can. I know some people really, really like that. But what I do need to do is um, use a little bit of mascara just to blend my lashes into the false lashes. So I usually just take this super curl I love the Mary Kay lash love mascara but it is hard to get off it really stays in my lashes so I just prefer using this just to do this with so I'm gonna make sure those end lashes kind of go up into these and just you know do like that just make sure my lashes blend and if I do this before I put the lashes on, then my lashes aren't as easy to sit down. So um, that's why I do it after. I just find that it's easier for me. But we all have different, different shaped eyes and different quirks and that's likes pretty and much it stuff. for the eyes. And you'll notice that I left nothing underneath, and I love that. I just think it's so pretty, and I know. Just try it. Just try it and see how you like it. And if it bothers you that bad, you could put a little bit of mascara. Maybe just touch a few little lashes. Just start off like that. But I really like 
the look of the um, just something on top. This just reminds me of a like Jennifer Hudson look or something like that. Um, okay, now we are going to do the lips. Yay! I always love lips. And you guys cannot imagine, I'm going to go sharpen this just to make sure it's perfect, but this is the Milani Liner in Nude. I love these liners so much. I'm going to go get backups just in case. I don't know if they're they're new, so they shouldn't quit selling them, but I love them. I have used these and my new Dior lipsticks all weekend, and I'm just obsessed. Okay, so this right is back. the Nude, and I just sharpened it so it would be nice and sharp for me because I like to really turn them on their sides and get a good, you know, gradient or, is that the word I'm trying to use? You know what I mean, a good line. Okay, so start from the end and this color is just perfection. This and the natural. And I've heard the spice is good too. So you can see I'm not overlining, I'm just going right on that line. And I usually do it about straight right there. And then like that. And then I just rub it in when I put my lips together. And okay, so I'm gonna use this, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. A bunch of you told me how to, but I'm, I would not do it right anyway. It's the number 123 Nude that I showed you the other day. I wore this Saturday. We went to the mall. The kids got some Valentine's Day money from their Aunt Linda, and um, so they were so excited. Will got a bunch of neat stuff for his Xbox and a new game and all kinds of stuff, and then Brooke got some clothes and earrings, and um, we all ate at our different places in the food court. And um, I was thinking, this is the first time that I have put a lipstick in my jacket pocket in so long because normally I put a lipstick on and I might throw it in my purse, but nine times out of 10, I just figure after I eat, I'm not gonna worry about it or I'll just put on whatever I have in my purse. But I love this so much that I had so, it in my pocket. And go over that liner just a little bit. Just to blend it in. Let me put your lips together. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. I think, I think this is a lot like my Chanel bisque that I just had years ago. It. I just think it's gorgeous. You don't need a gloss. It is fabulous and it just wears so well. Okay, so I've got that done. Now the last thing I want to do is my prep and prime. And I've been using this highlighter. Let's see, it's called, yeah, highlighter radiant rose. The only crit critique I guess I would have of this is see how it just like bubbles out, but the brush isn't very, um, here, let me see if I can work it in a little better on my hand. The brush is kind of stiff. So I'm gonna put, let's see, some dots like that. And this color can get a little bit, um, ashy's not the word, but light. So I think I've already dampened this and squeezed it in a you know a dry washcloth and so this really helps I think work it in real pretty like that and if you feel like there's just too much then turn it and then because this is going to take off some too and work it in really well Everybody should have one of these. They're, they're just good to have. Anytime I feel like I've put on too much of anything or just need help blending something in without removing it, I get this out. Okay, so that adds that brightness underneath. And um, let's see, we'll blend this edge a little bit like that. Okay, and now for my final touch, I'm gonna use this, which is the Luminous Light powder and um, I know that everyone that I've watched says that you are supposed to just lay it on the skin but I really think this powder goes on I'm gonna use this big powder brush from Sedona 376 and I'm so curious to see how the brush does 
I'll wipe this off good to make sure there's nothing in it. But um, I really think it does good when you kind of not really buff it in, but I don't know, work it in good. So I've got this on and let's see, I'm gonna. Put this all over. I don't know if you'll be able to tell with my lighting not being very good. But can you tell this difference between that side and that side? Just gives you that. I don't think it's too shimmery for all over. A lot of you might, but I love it. And then I'm going to use it down my neck and on my decollete a little bit to make my chest just have that glow. So that's it. Okay, now what I thought I would do, as much as I love this lip combo, I thought I would give you another option and try on my Chanel Mademoiselle for you with that same lip liner. So let's do that. I might end up going back to that one though. Okay. So let's do lip liner just a little bit again. Since I basically have it on, I don't even know if I need that since I still have my lip liner on. Let's do, okay, so Mademoiselle is a beautiful, just, I don't know, rosy, what would you say? It's just a nude, but it's a rosy nude. Okay. over right there and then okay and then I think I am going to go over with the liner because I want it to be there we go so there is the look with a color lip, and I just love it. And I just love this eye look. I think it's just perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll come back and okay, do an outfit of the day. I just wiped off the Mademoiselle and I'm gonna put this over it. So this will be even prettier probably because it has that little bit of color. Like that, I'm not gonna add any extra liner. That's why the best lip combos for me are at the end of the day when I've put on about five different things. <laughs> that's when they're the best. Today is okay, my right typical back. days that I am just going to the post office and I'm actually, I've got a big bag of packages to send out and then I'm going to go get a manicure and pedicure. I'm in desperate need of a pedicure. So I just have on my, like I wear a lot, my, one of my Gap t-shirts and, um, Victoria's Secret sweatpants, and then I have on my Uggs because it's cold outside right now, but I'll take my flip-flops with me. That way when I get a pedicure, I can just put those on. For accessories, and I just, this is why I like to get earrings like this. For a day like today, I just put in these little stars. Just something kind of cute and little. And um, oh, I knew I had something to show you. <laughs> this probably looks familiar to most of you. But we have like a little tag team thing going on. Chanel is obsessed with Brooks brushes. And she goes upstairs and gets Brooks makeup brushes and brings them down and wants to play fetch. So I just let her have, she had that um, Kabuki that folds open the Real Techniques one. And so I was just gonna let her have it and let her play with it. Well, that isn't good enough. She keeps on bringing down other brushes and evidently she tag teamed with Bridget and gave it to Bridget and Bridget chewed it up. So this is Brooks 276 SE that she'll no longer be using. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's one of my favorite looks and I love the powders and I really hope you can, let me get really close so you can see. But see how it's got just like that glow but not a lot of shimmer. I really don't think you should be you know, worried about that luminized one, if you really like that one. But I like them so much, and I think they're all, like, good for something different. When I ordered the Mood, I went ahead and ordered the Radiant. So then I'll have five of them. The only one that will be left is that Ethereal. And I'm not sure I'd have to see somebody use that to see if I'd like it, because I think it's more of a white, something that might not be good for my skin since I'm kind of medium. And um, 
hair is just left over from yesterday <laughs> and um which is how i like it just kind of messy so i hope you guys have a great week and um hopefully i'll see you tomorrow or wednesday talk to you soon bye bye